When we met in January, I expressed my doubts about the site. Where it stood with graphics, how much programming was left that I'd not anticipated, the lack of hardware we had to deal with, site use, the lack of promotion that would go on to successfully launch the website. This was the first time you raised any of those concerns, right? I'd raised concerns before. Bullshit. Gentlemen, I'm talking about the meeting in January to which this letter is referring. Yeah. Let me rephrase this. You sent my client 16 emails. In the first 15, you didn't raise any concerns. Is that a question? In the 16th email, you raised concerns about the site's functionality. Were you leading them on for six weeks? No. Then why didn't you raise any of these concerns before? It's raining. I'm sorry? It just started raining. Mr. Zuckerberg, do I have your full attention? No. Do you think I deserve it? What? Do you think I deserve your full attention? I had to swear an oath before we began this deposition, and I don't want to perjure myself, so I have a legal obligation to say no. Okay, no. You don't think I deserve your attention. I think if your clients want to sit on my shoulders and call themselves tall, they have a right to give it a try. But there's no requirement that I enjoy sitting here listening to people lie. You have part of my attention. You have the minimum amount. The rest of my attention is back at the offices of Facebook, where my colleagues and I are doing things no one in this room, including and especially your clients, are intellectually or creatively capable of doing. Did I adequately answer your condescending question? It's 12.45, why don't we say that's lunch? Back at 2.30? 